Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Well, I've zoomed out a little bit. I wanted to show you the development of the November 2022 um, low. And I have added this trend line now to the chart, which I think is um, it's not totally reliable. Yeah, we, this has not really touched it here in June, but I think it's come close enough to at least make it a um, an interesting concept to have on the chart. We've got it on the Ethereum chart. On the Ethereum chart, it worked very nicely. So just added that. Um, but overall, the idea is still that price rallied of the November lows in a wave one, came down in a wave two, then here another one, two setup within green wave three. Yeah, so we've got this wave three up here. Within that third wave, we're obviously dealing with a yellow one, two setup, which should be complete ideally. And then a third wave to the upside, a third of a third wave. Then a fourth wave should happen and a fifth wave of a third then the green fourth wave and the green fifth wave. That in itself could take us to new all-time highs, but it's a bit too early to confirm that we need to see how the subdivisions are evolving. So we're currently holding relevant support areas and therefore we are fairly bullish. We have been fairly bullish and that was the right decision because price has doubled since November. Um, is there a bearish option? Of course, you know, that is why we've got the, um, relevant support levels on the chart. When they start to fail, then we can become more bearish, become more bearish um, and we don't, don't need to deal too much with the what ifs. Yeah, I often get questions, you know, what if this or that happens? Well, then it's going to come down. Um, that's the reality in trading and TA. That's why we've got these support levels defined, right? I mean, our viewpoint will change if support levels break. That is very plain and simple. Um, we're not married to a certain viewpoint. And it's important in trading and analyzing that you can change your viewpoint quickly. That is pretty much a strength of Elliott Wave that it provides you with the relevant pivot points, the relevant levels when probabilities are starting to shift. The bearish wave count, I mean, is on the chart actually, it would be here a wave W to the upside between June and August 22, then a wave X to the downside as a flat structure and a Y wave to the upside, which might have even peaked here. Yeah? Um, and in the Y wave, we might have another WXY wave W, X, Y. With that latest spike here, that's actually possible. Um, that's a possibility. Yeah, you can construct that in different ways. You have a few overlaps here, but you know, certainly in the right places to be primarily focusing on the upside. Um, but yeah, this is a possibility as a flat structure. This could still be a bearish wave count. A wave forward then sit here with one more wave down to come. Um, yeah, of course, that's possible. Um, okay, is it likely? Well, not as long as we're holding support levels. Okay, so that's what you need to understand. We have the bullish support and as long as bullish support is holding, it is holding and we need to treat it like that. And we don't need to get overly concerned with the what ifs of alternative concepts as long as support is holding. Yeah, um, it's very simple. I um, sometimes don't understand the bearishness of others um, if the price is bullish. Okay, and I don't understand the bullishness of others if the price is actually bearish because you have very clear levels against which the trend is up. Yeah, I mean, clearly it's struggling here now in this area around 31.5k and that is sort of the last real major structural resistance before this thing can take off to around about 40k, right? You just see it on the chart. We've um, hit this November low, price has doubled, so it's pretty bullish. Um, in, an interest, in an environment in which interest rates have been rising, okay? Um, by the way, someone commented that um, in the next four months, the Fed will reduce interest rates again and therefore Bitcoin's price should plummet. Um, well, I'm very much aware that historically very much, um, the, you know, like the S&P and everything that have been crashes when um, the, the Fed started to reduce interest rates again. Well, first of all, it doesn't mean it has to happen again. Then um, crypto is a new concept, so you can't really, you know, say that about crypto as well. Um, but then also, I mean, there's no evidence that the Fed will start to reduce interest rates within the next four months. That's likely not going to happen. In fact, this week, didn't Jerome Powell confirm that they're actually looking at further interest rate increases, yeah, at least two more 
um, maybe in the next few months. So yeah, I think it will take a while until they start to stop, uh, until they start to, um, before they start to reduce interest rates. Okay, very important. Um, yeah, and this is now a, an area of trade, historical resistance. I mean, this is sort of really, and that aligns very much with our Elliott Wave count. There isn't much more there. There is a bit of an in insufficiency in terms of um, support and resistance here, at least in the short term, um, to get out of this range. Okay, so we've got a bit of an bit of a support area here. You can see that in this area around 31.5k here as well. Yeah, it's very dynamic, but it's still an area where there was a lot of volume, and here as well, yeah, where price just couldn't couldn't get above that level again after it broke below it. So there isn't much. I think. Look at what happened here. I mean, price did drop when it dropped eventually in May 22. You know, it came crashing from 40k to 30k. So looking at it the other way around, if price can finally make a sustained break above 31 and a half k, then we're getting all, all the way up to 40k quickly potentially, and that might be the reason why Ethereum is currently overtaking Bitcoin again, at least in the short term. We've talked about that in yesterday's video, that concept that Bitcoin is obviously outperforming. Now it's flipped, potentially temporarily only, but the main reason might be that if Bitcoin breaks out here, it might be going already. It would be too easy, wouldn't it? So just wanted to highlight that. Um, check out my last video if you want to learn more about the Bitcoin dominance. But at the moment, yeah, we still are dealing here with our concept, with our structure. No reason to change it of the June low here, 15th of June low, we've been moving up in what I consider only three waves so far, with the fourth wave possibly still in the making. Bitcoin hasn't really pushed higher. Ethereum has done that. It's interesting because they are not aligned anymore at the moment with their wave counts. Um, alternatively, of course, the five waves might already be in. So if Bitcoin decides to come down now, I have to count this as wave two. This is difficult to say. I would prefer one more wave up as I did on the Ethereum chart. That scenario worked out. Bitcoin, we will we'll see. It needs to hold um, 28,550 to give us that fifth wave to the upside into the low 32K region or just below 32K. And if it breaks below that 28,540 level, then it is going to head down lower into this box all the way down to 26,190. It doesn't mean it has to come down that low this is purely support at this stage. It's not really a target. The yellow box is support. So someone commented that wave two target is too low. Yeah, but it, I'm not saying it has to come down to that level. What I mean is it has to come down. Well, it doesn't even have to come down, but this is the standard support area for a wave two. Okay, so what it means is this is an area of likelihood where price will be seen in a wave two. And important is that it doesn't break below it. And um, Really no change on the shorter time frame to the last video. Um, yeah, tomorrow again, member live stream. It's weekend again. I hope you have a great weekend. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.